unpopular opinion. Now, look, I know I'm a little bit behind, but I did want to say something about the Monique situation. So Monique, as all of you know, she said that women should stop wearing bonnets outside. They should stop wearing slippers out to the airport. Like when you go out, take pride in yourself as a woman, as a human and put your best foot forward. You shouldn't just be going out looking like anything. Now, People, group think the majority was in the uproar. Like, girl, what are you talking about? Mind your business. I'm going to go out in my bonnet. And I'm going to do it again and again and again. And what you're going to do about it? Like, worry about yourself. My thing is not so much about what, what Monique was saying. But like, you know what? No. Let me touch on that a little bit. I was raised that when you go out, make sure you have on lip gloss, make sure you have on earrings, and make sure you smell good and you present yourself, you know, respectfully because you're re representing me, as in I'm representing my mom. But also, like, I'm showing people, like, how, how I carry myself. And so I was the girl, I don't care. Like, I was... I'm not wearing earrings. I'm not wearing lip gloss. My hair can look how it wants. I'm going to wear a bonnet. I'm going to wear pajamas. I've definitely won pa wore pajamas and slippers in the store because it's like, I'm going to Walmart. Who cares? You should always want to represent yourself a certain way, especially, you know, DMV area where there's a lot of creatives. You don't know who you're going to meet, who you're going to connect with. And the first impression is everything. You want to present yourself a certain way. You are a walking brand everywhere you go. Like everywhere I go, it should be, I'm Diamond B. Frazier. Now, granted, I'm with my family. I'm chilling. Like we're in the house, you know, whatever. But when I go out, I'm Diamond B. Frazier. So when you meet me, it ain't going to be no bonding, just looking tired. Like I'm not ready for, like ready for whatever. I agree. We live in a society of do as thy wilt. And we live in land of the free where everybody's just doing any and everything. And the minute somebody has an opinion to kind of correct it or trying to instill some sort of discipline or our elders are speaking to us, we don't have no respect. It's like, girl, you washed up, you tired. What are you talking about? Now, I do understand, you know, a girl, well, I don't pay to get my hair done no more. But when I did, I do understand, like, if you're going somewhere later that night or maybe you're going to prom or something, but you have some errands to run, you don't want your hair out after you just had it done. So you will, like, wrap it up and, and put in a bonnet. I get that. And I'm not, I don't look at girls like, mm, what you got a bonnet on for? I was that girl with the bonnet on, but I do feel like represent yourself, put your best foot forward. I don't see anything wrong with what she said. So for the people that, you know, that don't agree with her, that's okay. Just keep scrolling. I don't feel like you have to ridicule her for her just trying to be an elder and like, you know, speak some sense into us women. Because let me tell you this, we'll be quick to be on Instagram with a full face of makeup, you know, nails together, hair did, but out in public, you're not representing yourself the same way. So if, if you don't really care what people think, then why do you present yourself a certain way online? But in person, it, it's just not matching up. So yes, Monique, girl, I agree with you. Another thing that's been trending is Lil Nas X's performance. <sighs> <laughs> um, I did watch the BT Awards because, you know, I got cable and I did see it. And for me, I feel like it was unnecessary, whether he was gay or straight or whatever. I just feel like for a publication, like TV like that, why, why do you have to do a tongue kiss? Like this is an HBO after hours. Like this is, you know, during, I think it was like eight o'clock or nine o'clock or whatever. Like, I just didn't find it appropriate. I feel like he might be a little bit insecure about his sexuality. Um, I'm not sure where it stemmed from. I'm not sure what happened, but probably to the point, you know how you're not just him, but you just might feel a certain way about yourself. So you got to overdo it, overdo it. And you don't know how to just be like, you got to keep proving yourself. I feel like that's kind of the position that he's in. And, you know, he, he does troll. He's really great at marketing. He's really good at getting people talking, like keeping their names in their mouth. I get it. But that also, people saying, oh, you're homophobic. Oh, just let it go. Blah, blah, blah. No, I don't feel that way. I feel like it, I don't feel like it was appropriate at all. And you can say, oh, well, be mindful of what your children watch. Who knew that that was going to happen? Like, I didn't pre-watch the BET Awards, so then I know, like, okay, it's about to be a little kiss at the end. Let me make sure you're not there. Like, no, it, it's becoming, it's a lot of things that are normalized, and it's just not okay. And we need to get back to tradition and just, yeah, I'm not saying hide who you are and, 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 and you know, be apologetic about, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying certain things are appropriate. Like, I'm not about to... Be like, you know, I'm for public affection, but I'm not about to be out here like swapping spit in front of children's place and be like, 
well, you shouldn't have brought your kids to the store. Like, no, you just, it's just certain things you just don't do. And why can't, why can't people just, why can't we have structure? Why can't somebody tell us like, look, you're doing wrong. Fix that. And then another thing that I saw was, um, what's his name? ASAP Ace Rocky and Brianna. They both cute. And, um, not the, the, the second video they showed, but the first one. She was basically saying, um, not she was saying, child, I'm lying. I'm running, I'm just rolling off the tongue. You could tell this off the top of the dome. I ain't playing this. But um, you know, she had stopped uh and was like give you know, signing an autograph and like talking to the people outside. And then ASAP Rocky walked his little tail and got in the car and shut the door while she's sitting out that side. Granted, one might say, Well, she got security, she got security. You are her man, okay? I don't care how much security you got around. You should be the first protector and then security comes in after. You don't need to have her sitting outside with these strangers you don't know. I find offense to that. That's why I said we just need to get back to certain traditions. I feel like the man should be the protector, not just the provider financially because everything's not about providing is about monetary things it could be providing structure in the household you know just teaching us things like that type of thing so for me i thought that was a big no-no no you're not about to get in the car and i'm sitting out here by myself no you make sure i get in the car first you need to make sure i'm good or we can if it gotta be the same time we get in the car together but don't have me sitting outside you know not that i'm scared to shake my boots it's not about that but I'm still outside. I'm a female and I have random people asking me for an autograph or whatever. Like I'm high profile and you just going to get in the car. Like I said, I don't care if celebrity was there or not. You are her man. Fix that. But that's all my popular opinion for today. I think that's it. But if something else come up, I'm going to speak on it because it is what it is.